fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. During the years of unrest that followed the Civil War, a powerful secret organization called the Legion of the Black Arrow sprang up in the western United States. Its members were to be found everywhere, defying the law, or using the law for their own purposes, working toward the ultimate goal of revolt and the foundation of a despotic empire. It was the masked rider of the plains who led the fight against this band of outlaws and traitors, and for once his great strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness were taxed to the utmost in the cause of democracy. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Run the tail of the Black Arrow. Hail, Silver. Hi! Heat rose in solid waves under the fierce sun that poured down on the Mojave Desert. Two men lay sprawled in the thin shade of a giant cactus feebly hacking at the thick arms of the plant with hunting knives. It's no use, Sam. I'm so dry from lack of water, I haven't got the strength to cut that cactus. <coughs> we got to, Jed. We got to. There's moisture in these branches. <coughs> I can't do any more. Got to rest. Blazing sun. Everything looks like it's sliding up and down. Up and down. The heat. That's what it is, the heat. I tell you what, Jed, if we can hold out till sundown, it'll be cooler then. Maybe we can find strength to cut open this cactus and suck the moisture out. We'll be dead by sundown. Bait for the buzzards. No, no, we won't. Bait for the buzzards. Oh, I shouldn't have led you out here, Jed. It's my fault. Shucks, we're partners, aren't we? Don't blame yourself. <laughs> partners. Yeah, partners. Live together, ate together, work together. Now we're going to die together. Just desert. Burning hot desert. The sun beating down. Beating down on us like it had fists. What's that? It's a wolf. Don't go thinking it's our dog, Lop, here. Just a wolf, that's all. What difference does it make who gets us, the buzzards or the wolves? We're cashing in our chips anyway. We're all through. Well, it had to come sometime, Jed. There's nothing we can do now. Just take what comes. Maybe we'll see the sun go down, and maybe not. Just take whatever comes. Slower, Silver. We're too fast for the dog. He's leading us someplace. We are into Mojave Desert already. Our traveling tunnel. I wonder where this dog is leading us. Can keep going into desert at all. Obviously, he wants us to follow. Notice how he keeps looking up at us to make sure we're with him. Oh, dog, him plenty tired. This hot sand is burning his paws, but he won't stop. Sun going down now. Cool ground off. <laughs> Easy, old fella. We're with you. 
He's going faster. He must be nearing the end of his trail. Ah, him not got nose to ground anymore. Maybe him see end the trail. There's nothing inside but that giant cactus. He's trying... Tonto, look. Huh? The base of the cactus. Aren't those figures? Sun down now. Not much light. That's it, Kimosabe. It's two men. They're lying on the sand. Come on, Silver. Get them up, Scout. Hello. Hi. No answer, Tonto. They don't even stir. Hip. One side, boy. Uh, Let me see them. Let me bring water. That's what it is, Tonto. They're exhausted from heat and thirst. Him. Him dead? His heart is still beating. What about the other man? Uh, him heart beat, too. Not very strong. We'll do all we can for them. Open that canteen. See if we can force some water down their throats. Uh. Don't worry, fella. We'll do everything we can to save your master's lives. The sun set and darkness spread over the desolate desert. In place of the heat, the air turned cold and biting. The stars appeared, icy blue and sharp in the sky. Slowly they wheeled through space as the Lone Ranger and Tonto, their breathing making vapor in the chill air, worked desperately to bring back the flickering spark of life in the two lost men. Until finally, several hours before dawn... It's cold. Cold. Well, if it isn't lop here... You'll be all right now. I reckon I was mighty close to dead, mister. How's Sam? Uh, him open eyes now. That sounds like lop here. Sounds like our dog. You're better now. Yeah, a heap better. Thanks to you two. I don't thank us. If your dog hadn't found us and brought us here, nothing would have done any good. Can you stand up? I can. How about you, Jed? Why, yeah. Surprising what a little water will do to bring back a man's strength. Just lean on Tonto and me. And did you have any horses or pack mules? No, mister. We was traveling light, going on foot. Yeah, Sam and me are old hands at tramping across deserts. Only this time we come to grief. Well, you can ride double on Silver and Scout. You'll have to be out of the desert as soon as possible before the morning sun makes it unbearable again. Uh, me get horses pronto. Here, Scout. Here, Silver. Jed, you can ride with me. Sam can go with Tonto. Kino, but first let me grab our pack. I'll get it, Jed. Here. Yeah. Wait a minute. What's this? What's what, mister? You have a water bottle and it's full. Yep. Well, then why didn't you use it? Why'd you let yourself almost die of thirst when you had a full bottle of water? Mister, uncork that bottle and taste that water. But don't swallow it. Just put your tongue against it. Well, this is... Here, Tonto. Taste it. Be careful not to swallow any. Well? Kimasabi. That water not good. That water's been poisoned. Now, where did you get it? Well, that's the funny part, mister. We filled that water bottle straight out of the well with good, sweet drinking water. Ah, that means somebody put poison in after. Yes, Tonto. But who did it? That's what we don't know. Lots of people had the chance. If we could get back to Arrowhead, maybe we can find out. Sam, Tonto and I will make sure you get back. We'll help you. <coughs> Come on, up on the horses. Ready, <laughs> Scout. We all ready. All set. Uh, just sing out, mister. We'll hang on. Cork that water bottle, Tonto. Make sure the water doesn't leak out. Sam, Jed, whoever did this is nothing short of a murderer. We don't like murderers in the West. <laughs> get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. <laughs> A few hours after sunrise, two men were riding their horses along the rim of the desert after playing cards in the Arrowhead Cafe most of the night. Uh, I reckon I can sleep the sun around, Bran. When we get to that bunkhouse, I'm going to flop into blanket roll boots and all. Maybe we ain't going to the bunkhouse, Shaley. Oh, now listen. Cast your eyes out westward. Look what's coming from the desert. Now, what do you mean? Well, I'll be dogged. A couple of horses carrying double. Yeah, you know who that is? Of course not. Can't make him out of this distance. You don't have to. Look what's traveling with them horses. Yeah. A dog, ain't it? Well, prod me if it ain't. It looks like creeping catamounts. That looks like Lop here. Jed and Sam's dog. Ah, but it can't be. It is. That means sure as fate that Sam and Jed are riding them horses along with them other two gents. Twist your reins, Shawler. We're hightailing back to town. Is somebody going to be mighty interested in this news? Get up, man. Get up. Get up. Get up. enough times already, Lem Beardsley, but it'll bear repeating. My husband Jed went out into the Mojave Desert again yesterday after he promised not to, 
And you're the one who fast talked him into it. Shucks, don't give me all the credit. Jed's got a partner. Sam follows Jed's lead. Don't go blaming Sam for this. What are you so all fired worried about, anyways, Molly? They've been on the desert many's the time. They're old hands. I don't trust that desert. It's mighty treacherous. Huh. And there's other things being treacherous, too. Now, look here, Molly Hawkins. If you're hinting that I had some dark reason for sending them out on the Mojave, you've been listening to gossip. I'm just a storekeeper. Jed and Sam owe me a plenty for back bills, for food I advanced You them. got shares of their discoveries, didn't you? Well, sure, I grub-staked them. None of the claims they filed was worth anything, so I so had So you a... egged them into trying again. A man's got a right to get some of his money back. Jed and Sam are the best doggone prospectors in the West. They've just been having hard luck, that's all. Naturally, I'm eager for them to strike at risk. Let him be, please! Who's that? It's you they're calling, whoever they are. Howdy. Looking for me? You left Beardsley. That's my handle, mister. What can I do for you? I'll let you tend to your store, mister. Me and my sidekick want some supplies. Well, glad to oblige. I'll ride right along with you. Adios, Molly. Don't harbor any hard feelings to get me. Jed and Sam will be all right. You'll see. It won't be your doing if they are. Goodbye, and do me a favor and stay away. Let's go, mister. One and all fired. Hurry. All right. Get along, Hawk. Get, 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 get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Hmm. More strange goings on. I'm almost certain I've seen those two gents in Lamb Beardsley's store. And yet he acts like he never met them till just now. And besides, that ain't the way to his store. They're heading someplace else. We acted like we didn't know you, Beardsley, just so the woman wouldn't get any suspicion. All right, Ben, what's up? Trouble, Lim. Yeah. Trouble before. Uh, things aren't going the way you calculated they would. Get to the point. Point out. What's wrong? Tell him, Shaler. You sent me and Brand into the Mojave to make sure Jed and Sam was dead. Yeah, seems to me it got back mighty quick. Because we didn't have to go far. We went no farther than the edge of the desert. Why? Because Jed and Sam are dead. We saw them. What? Yeah, they're alive. They're heading back to our head right this minute. That's impossible. They couldn't live without water. Somebody found him. Two jets on two horses. A white stallion in the paint. Horses are carrying double and coming this way. Well, then I reckon you boys better earn the cash I'm paying you. How do you mean? Rain up. Stop your horses. Hold there. Hold there. Now listen to me and listen close. From this spot, you can see the trail plain. Uh, sure, we're right above it. Uh-huh. I want you to make sure Jed and Sam don't get to town. Yeah, but they're coming this way now. Yeah, so they are. The morning sun will be right in their faces. You can shoot them down before they know what hit them. Lim, you mean... Sure I do. I mean just that, an ambush. The only way I want Jed and Sam to reach Arrowhead is feet first. Dead on a doornail. Yeah, I wish those doggone cayuses would stop stomping. Oh, forget it. Those riders are galloping toward us. Their horses make too much noise for them to hear much. They'll be real close soon. Hey, hold your fire till I give the word. Yeah. Just like Beardsley ain't it. Why didn't he stay here instead of heading back for town? Well, that's his business. He's paying a shaler. Besides, we don't need him. The shooting will be as easy as skinning a gopher. Here they come. A nice, clear target. Hey, get set. Any time you give the word, they got to be drawn on the jet right in the paint horse. I got the stallion. In a couple of more seconds. Just a couple of more seconds. What in blazes? What's getting into that door? I don't know. He's barking fit to kill. Brand. Jump on Mavericks. That, that hound smells us. The wind's giving them the scent. Start shooting before they catch on. Pour lead into them. Shoot! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. The shooting was fierce and short. Only a few seconds after Brand and Shaler first pressed their triggers and emptied their guns, they stopped shooting. Well, that was short and sweet, wasn't it, Shaler? Yeah. They didn't even get a chance to draw their guns and fire back at us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing moving but the dog. Hey, look at him whimpering over Jed's yeah. body. Pretty good shooting, if I do say so. Perfect shooting. Four men and two horses, all of them flat in the ground. Yeah, let's amble and spread the good word to Lem Beardsley. Kino, say, uh, maybe we ought to ride down there and make sitting all dead, huh? Yeah, maybe we ought to. Might as well make... No, no, we won't. Why not? No sense leaving tracks for folks to see, Shaler. Besides, there's no reason for it. We didn't miss. Yeah, I reckon you're right. Come here, <laughs> horse. <laughs> we sure earned our pay, didn't we? Come on. Get up there. Get up All right, now, they're gone. Um, up on Pete Scout. Get up, Silver, old fella. That's it. Yeah, Lop here, we sure missed sudden death that time. We can thank the dog for warning us of that ambush, Jed. There wasn't time to start shooting back. Uh, that do no good, Kimasabi. They well hidden. We not have chance. Is anyone hurt? I caught one on my arm, mister. Just a scratch, though. Oh, it'd be all right. Tonto fixed it. You let me rip shirt. Sure beats everything, the way those two horses rolled over and played dead when you told them to. Silver and Scott are well trained, Jed. If your horses hadn't been carrying double, you might have headed right straight at those hombres and ridden them down. They're mighty fast horses. Scratch all fixed, Kimasabi. Yeah. What do we do now? What kind of question is that? Why bother asking? We're going up on that hill where those snakes try to ambush us and start right after them while the trail is fresh. No, we're not, Jed. Huh? You and Sam are staying right here. But, mister... I have my reasons, Jed. Oh, just tell us where your cabin is so Tonto can go there. A cabin? Nobody there but Molly, my wife. Well, where is it? Well, it's uh, just north of town. There's a cottonwood at the door. But I don't savvy why you want us to stay here instead of... Jed going... Hawkins, you talk too much. Huh? The masked man's got some scheme up his sleeve to trap these hombres. Ain't that right, masked man? Yes, Sam. But even more important, I want to trap the man who gave them orders. Well, sure, only... We... Only nothing. Him and the engine saved us from dying on the desert, didn't they? Yeah. They brought us out safe, didn't they? And it was the masked man's quick thinking, telling us to drop to the ground and play dead, that kept us from getting filled full of lead, wasn't it? Well, sure. Then don't go questioning his judgment, because I ain't. I aim to do exactly as he says. Well, Kino, Sam. Mister, we'll play it your way. You'll have no cause to regret that, either of you. <laughs> now remember, wait here. Adios. Goodbye. Hit him up. Oh, Silver! Hey! <laughs> That is Silver. Here we are, Kimosabe. That's right. In their cottonwood near door, this Jed's cabin. Oh, howdy. How do you do? Are you Mrs. Hawkins? Yes, come in. Uh, uh, you're him. What's that? You're wearing a mask. You're the masked man she told me about. Well, who do you mean? A woman told you about me? You're the Long Ranger, ain't you? And this here's Tonto. Uh -huh. Ah, that's right. Mister, not more than ten minutes ago, a lady rode up just like you did. She knocked on the door and asked me, was this the home of Jed Hawkins? And when I said it was... Yes, what then? She gave me a message. She said to warn Jed to look out for Lem Beardsley. Beardsley? The storekeeper in Arrowhead. And, mister, I'm plumb worried. Because it was Beardsley who slick-talked my husband into going out in the desert again. Oh, I see. And, uh, how did you know about us? Because of what the woman said. She said to tell nobody I couldn't trust, but if a masked man rode up with an engine powered, then I could speak freely because that man was the Lone Ranger. The woman's gone? Yeah. Spoke a piece and left just as fast as she come. Well, what did she look like, Mrs. Hawkins? Well, I couldn't see, mister. She was wearing a veil. Uh -huh. She must have been. That woman who helped us. Yes, the mysterious woman. If she's been here, that means a black arrow is mixed up in this some way. What's that, masked man? D did you say black arrow? Yes, I did. Well, now, that's strange, mister. Because Lem Beardsley's got a black arrow tattooed on the inside of his left wrist. What's it mean? Oh, that's plenty bad. Uh, never mind, Mrs. Hawkins, but thanks for the information. Uh, your husband and Sam were ambushed this morning on the edge of the ambushed? desert. Ambushed? Mask man, you mean to say that Jed... I know, Mrs. Hawkins. He's alive. They're both alive. It's up to us to get the men who planned that ambush. You've told us about Beardsley. Now, here's what you must do. Beardsley. 
soon as me and Shaler blew the smoke out of our gun barrels, we straddled our horses and come here to your store. <laughs> All four of them, hey? And the horses. <laughs> nice shooting, gents. Real nice shooting. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's the matter? Did you cover your tracks? No, we didn't. Yes, we... our nation fools. When that murder is found out, they'll track you right straight here. You no, can... hold your horses, Beersley. You didn't let me finish. Huh? Nobody can follow our tracks all the way here. Don't you savvy? As soon as we hit the regular trail into town, our tracks got mixed up with all the regular travelers. Oh, yeah, they're so. We're as safe as if we were sitting right in church. Why, we could even go out there and discover the bodies ourselves. No one would think anything of it. That's right, Shaley. Now, I'll pay you gents off. Lamp, seriously! Oh, what in thunderation is Mrs. Hawkins? Don't be loco, Brand. No need to vamoose. You said yourself no one suspected. Now, come on. We'll mosey out front and see what she's bellowing about. Everybody, What's the matter, Molly? What's all the fuss about? Maybe your husband's taking rich. <laughs> my husband's been ambushed. He's been ambushed on the edge of the Mojave. Uh, Molly, what's that? Jed the shot? The dog come to the cabin. I followed him out there. Jed was ambushed and so was Sam. And two strangers. It must have happened this morning. Oh, I come to ask you to help to... Uh, to bury him. Well, what are we waiting for? Uh, come on, James. Get your horses. We'll ride out there this instant. And what's more, we'll get the scheming yellow coyotes who shot him down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's telling them, isn't it, Brian? Yeah, Liam. <laughs> Instead of worrying about a posse, we'll be the posse ourselves. Where's my horse? Oh, hurry. Please, come on, hurry. Come on, come on. <laughs> Me see cloud of dust come from town. That must be Mrs. Hawkins and the townspeople, Tallow. Come on, Silver. Dead! Sam! Get ready! Are they coming that fast? They'll be here in a few minutes. Tallow and I saw them from the ridge. And we get off, boys. <laughs> this is the spot where we was lying, masked man, right here. All right, then we'll all lie down. Down, Silver. You scout, lie down, play dead. <laughs> Lop here. Hush up that barking. Hush up. Jed and Sam dropped to the ground. Silver and Scout obeyed their masters and stretched out on their sides, and the ranger and Tonto followed suit. By the time the posse topped the rise and slowed to a halt, only the dogs seemed to be alive. Uh, ambushed. They look like they never had a chance. Horses and all. Oh, it's a crying shame. Now, now, Molly. You gotta buck up. I know Jed's your husband, but everybody's gotta go sometime. Weeping won't do any good. Uh, come on, gents. Lend us a hand with him. We'll give him a Never decent... mind, Glenn Beardsley. You won't have to bury my husband or any of them. Now, what kind of talk is that? Molly, have you gone You local? won't have to because none of them are dead. None of them She's are... right, Beardsley. Up on your feet, Silver. Up, Scout. Get up, Sam. we got a welcoming committee. Well, <laughs> if this is your idea of a joke, Molly Hawkins, I throw in my hand. I'm heading back for town. Just a minute, Beardsley. Mace has got a gun. Who is he? What's it about? Mister, put your guns and get while you can. We don't like outlaws in these parts. Don't listen to Lamb Beardsley. That there's the Lone Ranger. Oh, Lone Ranger? What Mrs. Hawkins told you was the truth. We were ambushed this morning, but the bullets didn't hit us. Never mind making up stories. You shut your mouth, Beardsley. What the masked man says is gospel truth. And furthermore, he knows who tried to finish us off. You see them, Tonto? Ah. Two men stand beside Beardsley. Them make ambush. Fred, run for it. Get to the horse. I'll fix your mask, Beardsley. I'll show you. Oh! Did you see that, Jed? Shot the guns right out of the hand. Yes, sir, he's the Lone Ranger, all right. All right, Mask Man, you got it. You go to jail, that's what. Kino, but savvy this. We're telling you right now, we were just following orders. It was Lem Beardsley paid us to try to kill him. Beardsley. Yeah, and here's why. Hawkins, didn't you and Sam stake out a claim on the little Smokey and give Beardsley a share in it? Sure, but there wasn't enough ore to fill a poke. Ran out in no time. That claim was worth it. Well, that's what you think. Suppose I tell you Beardsley's found a rich vein behind the old diggings. He planned to get rid of you two so he could have it all for himself. So that's it. I always knew Lamb Beardsley was no good. Just a minute. Hold on. Let go of my arms. We're holding you. Here, let him go. Now speak up, Beardsley. You're doggone tootin' now, speak up. I never had anything to do with any shooting, not me. What's more, I don't know these two hombres. Never saw them before today in my life. Well, you they only... came into my store to buy supplies. Put them in the calaboose, string them up for all I care. But I had nothing to do with them. Oh, let me free. I'll make each your words, John Coyote. You can't prove it. You can't prove nothing. I'm a respected citizen of this here town. Beardsley. Well, what do you want? You're not telling the truth. No, well, my claim still goes. And if nobody can prove that these gents say... We'll prove it. I don't get that water bottle. Uh -huh. Time to do it. Water bottle? Well, what are you talking about? Uh, here, here, bottle. I want you to take a drink from this water bottle, Beardsley. I, I'm not thirsty. Go ahead. 
Why, that's Jed's water bottle. There can't be anything wrong with that. Beardsley, either you drink from this bottle before I count three, or I'll force it down your throat. No, no. One, two. No, no. Three. All right, hold his arms. No, no, I won't drink Drink. it. That water's poison. It's poison, I tell you. How do you know it's poison? I won't drink it. It's poison. I put it in Jed's water bottle myself. If I drink that, I'll... Let him go, Tonto. Uh He's confessed already. You all heard him. Mass man, you not only saved our lives, but you also helped rid this town of a no-good crook. We'll slap all three up in the jailhouse. They'll be there right pronto. Now, come on, start moving. Time for us to hit the trail, Toto. Uh, yes, Count. Yes, Silver. Wait. Mass man, which way are you heading? Well, I don't know, Mrs. Hawkins. We have no definite plans. Well, if I was you, I'd go north. North to Tamarack. Why Tamarack? Well, no reason, mister. Only just before that mysterious woman left, she said that's where she was heading, to the town of Tamarack. Adios, masked men. Adios. We hit trail for Tamarack. Get him up, scout. Oh, silver. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.